Hi, Libra. This is Jeffrey. This is Red Color. And this is the reading for uh, November 14th through the 21st. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer a private reading. I also offer um, IET, which is a healing modality, which can help you to uh, transform energy. Uh, the information is below. That'll lead you to my website, which is ripecolor.com. I have uh, one of a kind t-shirts and um, textiles, as well as astrology t-shirts, et cetera, et cetera. Please visit. And um, yeah, the other announcement is the uh, weekly readings will um, be for members starting by the end of the month. I'm not sure. Um, what week, and I'm not sure, um, it won't be a lot of money, it, it'll be a very minimal amount. Anyway, and then I'm going to add different videos, and uh, you know, it's not really quite formed yet. I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm pregnant. Maybe you're pregnant too. You're pregnant with a new idea, a new brainchild. All right. Here we go. One, two, three. Hmm. Okay, I feel like you've been made an offer. And you're really looking at it. You're really looking at it and you're undecided. That's how we begin. The offer, really looking, looking, doing a deep dive, not only at it, but at yourself. And then sort of weighing, weighing. This card has come up a lot. Again, uh, it's unbelievable. I keep on shuffling and you're in my fifth. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. I think that this has to do with the eclipse because this is an eclipse card. This is an eclipse card, which is on the 19th, depending on where you are. Um, you've been made an offer and I think you're going to refuse the offer because it's not enough. It's not, uh, it seems familiar and, um, you're looking for something more um, equal, you know. Uh, sometimes the, these places like, well, I'll give you a job, and you know, you only work 150 hours a week, and you know, la la la. You want something bigger? You did that. You already did that. You want something bigger? I think you might be trying to gain more skills, planting new seeds looking at different crops in a way, um, really being open to what it is that you really wanna do and what it is that would bring you emotional satisfaction. Because you did, you know, you had a job that was just a job and now, or you had a situation that was, you're bored with. And now you want something that is more nourishing, more uh, fertile. Yeah, you're ready to leave the past behind. You're ready to like move into the into the future, and you have your head on straight. And um, even if you have to sort of defend your new territory, then you're willing to do that. You know, people are like, oh, you should just go back and keep on doing what you were doing, and you're like, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't really want to go back to the past. The past was the past and I had it and it was lovely. I want something new. I want something new. I want something more creative, more fertile, more exciting. That's going to bring me more money and it's more stable and it's more, um, I don't know, it, it, rich is not the right word. Rich, abundant is the word, more abundant. Abundant isn't always necessarily money, it could be. But it could also be 
nurturing. It could also be an abundance of, um, you know, sometimes it's like, well, I'd rather work or be in a place that's more pleasant. The environment is more pleasant and maybe make less money than because, or, and have more time off because it's more nurturing for me, kind of like that. Hmm. And you're willing to take the action toward um, what it is that you desire. Whoops. Yeah, it, it, something might've had to fall apart in order for you get here. It's going to be fine. Sometimes, some, sometimes things need to fall apart and like not work for you to say, you know what? It was kind of a blessing because now I'm going to be more balanced. Now I'm going to be more balanced and I'm going to be more. Sometimes when something's out of the way, even it, let's say it's a relationship, right? And, you know, all of a sudden you got clear and it just like the whole thing dissolves. It's like, um, now that that's out of the way, I'm really free. A little bit like that. I don't, I don't know if it's necessarily like a one-on-one a -on -one relationship. It could be a relationship with like, sometimes it's a relationship with um, your career, right? It's like, actually, you know, I knew somebody years ago that was all corporate, la, la, la. And then he ended up opening a barbershop. <laughs> he was like really happy. He ended up opening a barbershop and getting to talk to people and getting to work for himself. And he was really much happier. So, you know, yeah, because I feel like in the past you've been sort of felt like you were surrounded and sort of felt like you couldn't really express yourself and you couldn't really uh, be free. And I feel like that's what it is. So, you know, like this offer that comes, it's sort of like, yeah done that done that and in the past you would have taken it and now that you see things differently and you understand yourself on a different level and um part of really understanding yourself on a different level i think this has a lot to do with the eclipse for a lot of people because like these two cards have been kind of like crazy uh and these are both eclipse cards interestingly enough for me uh, even though this one isn't, it just, it always feels like the eclipse card. Um, it has to feel more like home. It has to feel more uh, generous, more... Um, respectful you know you're you're sort of being led to this new place and you know i think in, in in the past you wouldn't have paid attention to it but now well the other thing i wanted to say too is that um you know i do a lot of readings um you know like over the phone or zoom and this and that people's everyone's intuition is opening up to a level that they've never had before, never experienced before. And, um, and people are listening more because it just, it's, it's louder, you know, or it feels strong, excuse me, stronger, or people are able to see things in a different light. So you're not the only one. And um, you know, look, the, the world is transforming really, really quickly. And, you know, you, you transform with it right? You transform with it. And uh, so, you know, it's a very challenging time, but it's a very exciting time too. So that's what I got for you. Now, even when I shuffle, 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 it'd be interesting to see if this comes up in the next sign, because it's like, it's so weird how that happens. Certain weeks, it's like, oh, this is the card of the week, isn't it? Anyway, uh, blessings to you. Thanks for tuning in and see you soon.